So, are there any vegans in the audience? No? Good. <laughs> because next up, we have Jamie Star Burke with Why I Hate Vegans, a seemingly self-explanatory and relatable talk, although it digs a little deeper into the reason people decide to be vegan, aside, of course, from attention. I hate vegans. <laughs> now, obviously, that's an over-exaggeration. But a lot of people don't like vegans. There's a joke that goes something like this. How do you know someone's a vegan? They'll tell you. <laughs> Lots of us who aren't vegans, myself included, hold a little grudge against vegans a little subconscious resentment, a sort of, oh, you think you're better than me. <laughs> if, you were ask, if, you were ask, if you were to ask a non-vegan to describe a vegan, a word they might use is judgy. <laughs> That's probably for a good reason. When I described this whole I hate vegan speech to an English teacher here in the college, they said, yes, Jamie. You are a bad person for eating meat. No prizes for guessing whether they were vegan or not. <laughs> but why the hate towards vegans? Surely they're just a bit more morally conscious than the rest of us. Perhaps a bit more squeamish than the average Joe. After all, we all love animals. I have a pet. Her name is Juno, and she's a pug Labrador mix. I would never let anything happen to her, let alone someone eat her. <laughs> but since I started speaking, over half a million animals around the world have been killed. Half a million in the space it takes me to eat three chicken nuggets. <laughs> but if you find half a million a large number to comprehend, they only get bigger. 75 billion animals a year. Billion with a B. That's the amount of animals that are killed every year, no, slaughtered every year by the meat industry to fill our stomachs. We love all animals. We have the ISPCA. There's outrage on social media every time there's even a whiff an animal being neglected or even abused. We work so hard to protect those animals, our pets, our dogs, our cats, even our hamsters. And yet, we do nothing to protect the 75 billion other animals every year. But you know who does? Vegans. Or at least, they think so. <laughs> Pigs. They're the seventh most intelligent animal in the world. I googled it. I think I can convince myself that I wouldn't eat my dog or cat or hamster because of their perceived intelligence. They know what's happening. But then, how come every Saturday morning I have myself a delicious Irish breakfast? pork sausages made from the hind of the pig, wrapped in the guts of that pig, served with bacon or rashers. The shoulder of the pig sliced off its dead carcass, all served with delicious, sizzling fat. <laughs> now, as you can tell, I don't have any problems with eating pork. But a lot of people around the world would such as those of Islamic faith, who stay well clear of pork and other haram food. Other examples being those of Hindu faith, who regard the cow as sacred. And as such, McDonald's beef burgers are out of the question. Everyone's heard of kosher food, right? Well, there's more dietary restrictions. But I didn't start off this speech with a joke about kosher food. 
The answer to the questions, what is food? What can I eat? Is as diverse as the world itself. There is no objective moral truth, however much some people think there are, think there is. There is just different points of view. If I thought deeply about the pros and cons of eating meat, the moral, the et the morality around eating meat, I'd be there all day. And I probably wouldn't want to eat the meat at the end of that. But I don't do that. Am I a bad person? Should I feel guilty about eating that meat? Or should I feel guilty about not feeling guilty about eating that meat? And that, that can go for, on forever. But that shows how we view veganism as a society. As I've said, it's everyone's personal preference. <laughs> I'll stand on this side of the stage. <laughs> I want to believe that I'm not a bad person for eating meat. I want to enjoy the taste of meat without feeling a twinge of guilt. No one here, after all, likes the fact that an animal died to provide their meal. It's just the easiest choice, the easiest thing on the menu. It's the path of least resistance. It's what I've always done. It's what we always done. I'm not here to force veganism down your throat because it probably wouldn't taste very nice. <laughs> but if you came away with one thing from this talk, it's perhaps be a bit more conscious about where you get your food from. Perhaps choose the free range eggs. Look for the board B approved sticker on your burgers. So back to the question, do I really hate vegans? I'm going to let set my stats to it's complicated.